Moving on tonight, this year's Three Rivers Festival is almost over. So how's it doing in this tough economy? News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson joins us live downtown from the festival with a look. Well, the festival tonight just ended for the night, and uh, as you can see behind me, Food Alley is pretty much empty, and everyone's closing up shop, but that wasn't a ca the case just a little bit ago. It was pretty packed, and throwing a festival in a time when unemployment is rising and people are hanging on to their pennies can be a little risky. Oh, Lordy Lord, that one right there. That's my guess. Don't it's a it. Fort Wayne tradition. Oh. For more than 40 years, the Three Rivers Festival takes over downtown Fort Wayne. Everyone has their favorite part. The hurricane, get on the ladder rides. Ice cream, getting ice cream. There's good rides out there. This is really fun and there's lots to enjoy. But the economy crash made a lot of people nervous about making a profit. As vendors, we've all had our fears. So how is the festival weathering this economic storm? Organizers and many vendors say surprisingly the bad economy might be helping the festival. Substantially up from uh, previous years. Uh, I would say this is probably the best year we've had yet. People are staying home, going to the festivals, fairs in their local area. One of the upsides when the economy gets bad, sometimes uh, local events end up doing better than uh, travel destinations. This is J and J Amusement's third year setting up the Midway at TRF. Business is up. It's been up every day since we've been here. The same seems to be holding true in Food Alley. It's uh, much busier than it has been in the last couple years. I thought it'd be down a little bit, but it's been doing pretty good so far. Not quite as good as Milwaukee, but it's close. I'm better. Bob Diaz brought his burgers from Florida. He's got a better spot in the alley this year. Much space, I get more customers. Mother Nature is also lending a hand. The weather, too, is helping. Uh -huh. Weather has been absolutely perfect this year. I don't know who had the connections. Festival goers agree the crowd seems bigger this year. At night, it's busier. And then, of course, the weekends, it's crazy. People, you know, they still have to have a good time and take their minds off of other things. I mean, what better thing to do than to go to a carnival circus? And that good weather that they were talking about, well, it just started raining here about five minutes ago. But luckily, everyone was heading home anyway, so it still really didn't affect sales tonight. The festival continues tomorrow and Sunday from 11 to 11 both days. Live downtown at Food Alley, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15. Well, as Alyssa said, the festival wraps up Sunday night. And, of course, you can expect to see the big fireworks finale. They'll launch from the top of One Summit Square at 10 o'clock. You can take your blankets and you can find a seat at Headwaters Park. There's also a great view from the Botanical Conservatory at Jazz Under the Stars. Andrew